All right. So this mod is called the Flying Dutchman mod. If you have Age of Empires 2 DE, you can get it yourself. Check it out and just fly. Fly away, my sweet angel. Uh, because I, I played it earlier on stream, actually. Transport ships, now, uh, they can they can sail on water, but they can sail on land as well. All right? So they, they go everywhere. And also, it seems like they're really, really strong, too. So when I was playing... I thought I was dead. I had 100 population. I had four villagers and a king. And then I had like 95 siege onagers and rams, which I admit is a lot. Um, and But I had no eco whatsoever. And I just sailed over to the middle where the enemy had four or five castles. And I just took the castles out. And I was very lucky, but got the win. So, moral of the story, make transport ships. Go for snipes. We have Harry T in the blue. Uh, Harry T is playing as the Spanish... In the yellow, we have Portuguese for Argent. In the gray, we have Pineapple the Fruit Dude. All right, he's playing as the Mongols. In the orange, we have Yoda Evil Twin. Now, I have a lot of questions about this one. Because I didn't know that Yoda had an evil twin. Uh, Yoda's playing as the Tatars. Yoda actually seems to have a pretty good build to start it off. I know the mill's a bit questionable. But since you start with so much food with regicide starts, to send so many to wood and then dock and make fishing ships so early is pretty cool to see. Here we have Nox. Nox is playing as the Britons. Here in the red we have uh, Malay. Oh boy. Oh boy, somebody did it. Malay can be insane on this map. Uh, reach heaven through violence? That's very aggressive. Alright, anyways, uh, Malay. In the teal we have Luis. Luis is playing as the Vikings. In the green, we have Snakebite. He's playing as the Magyars. And then that is everybody. There's eight players. There's eight kings. You can set up alliances. You can turn on anyone at any time. So expect king snipes. <coughs> oh, God. Excuse me. I'm choking on air. Uh, expect backstabs and expect a lot of wonderful friendships. Now, I still cannot see in-game chat on DE. We're getting closer because in the most recent patch, it made it so recorded games store in-game chat. But i that means any live game I ever cast, I will still not get in-game chat. The only way I get recorded games is not through player profiles. I still have to contact people and say, hey, send me this on Discord. Nothing's built into the game yet. So I'm still like, I'm going to complain about it because it's quite bad at this point. We're like seven months after the game came out. Still don't have access to that. But I know it's been reported. I obviously cannot say, confirm or deny that it might come at some point, but I'm hopeful. All right? I'm hopeful. Um, okay. First thing I want to talk about after that, these fortified towers. How cool do they look? Which one looks best? Okay, ducks, I think it's time for a poll. This is really important. When we do community games, we vote on all the important things. Okay. Which fortified tower looks best? We have the Magyars. We have the Vikings. We have we have eight options because there's eight different sieves, right? All right, uh, this is this is fascinating. All right, all right, what do we got over here? Nah, like this is a classic one. This reminds me of uh, what's that one tower called that has to do with bugs? It's like Tower of the Flies or something. Do you guys remember that? If you played around in the scenario editor, uh, there was the Tower of the Flies. I think there was two of them and they were quite strong that's what that reminds me of Ooh, the tatar maybe i'm just hungry but i feel like the tatar tower reminds me of a three layer cake does this not make anyone hungry you even have like the extra icing on the corners of the cake that i always get the corner pieces that doesn't make you hungry okay all right uh what do we got over here pineapple the fruit dude whoa See, I like it. However, that Mongol tower reminds me of what a Korean tower would look like, and it makes me scared. So it's a little bit terrifying. Okay, and here we have uh, the Portuguese tower. You know, I can appreciate the Portuguese tower because there's stairs there. So I don't know if the king can walk up that. He's probably too chubby for it, but that's a nice little touch. And that, oh, you know what? Spanish and Portuguese tower is the exact same. Ducks is probably like, what do I put in this pole? Ducks, don't don't stress it too much. But um yeah, we'll we'll talk about that in early game because uh there's not much else to discuss. I will say on this map it is a must to dock and make fishing ships. You do not have boars. 
So uh, getting food is all about the fish. Wait a second. What? What the? Luis. Oh, Luis. Luis. Okay, you guys go ahead and you can vote on which tower you think is the best. Um, Luis did not build a lumber camp. So I forgot about this, but I think it's important to note because when, when we do community games, there's always underdogs that you want to root for. When I rolled Luis, I said, Luis, can you play? And his response wasn't, yes, I'm ready. His response was, I'll try. <laughs> so I think it's possible that Luis might be a little bit on the inexperienced side in this community game because he just said he's going to try. So he's going to try his absolute best, which is good. Now, I just noticed that I think the order in which he went to resources was probably a bit off. Like, there's no need to get gold in Dark Age. For example, that wood would be better off used for a fishing ship or another lumber camp or a mill. But uh, I'm sure he'll be fine. Okay, Portuguese plus Spanish is what the vote brings in. And Tatars was actually second place. It was very close. Okay, interesting. So I guess I'm going to use this for now. Yeah, I guess I'll have that up there so you can see who's advancing to each age and when. Um, I've seen Harry play a lot of community games. I think I've seen Knox too. I could be wrong on him, but I think those two players are players to look out for as this game develops. Now, Red has been a huge supporter of my channel, and I think he's he's quite experienced. Now, how good that makes him, I'm not sure, but I think he knows the power of Malay, so he's probably going to try and get to the, uh, the fish traps throughout this game, maybe some harbors. Malay can be very good. I feel like Malay is probably one of the better civilizations for this. And remember, transport ships can sail over land. So this is Flying Dutchman AoE. But yeah, it's going to take him some time to get up still. Malay are thankfully fixed now. And he's actually going to make a transport. So we could see... You notice how he's using the transport you would normally use the transport? And he has it on the shoreline. You, he could just sail it right into the TC. Alright. Nothing yet. Thank you, Wooden Rock AoE, for the new sub. Thank you, Father Trace. Hello. He says, Britain Tower is the best tower. Ah, no surprise. You like the classics. Yeah, there you go. There's the transport. There's the transport. Just sailing over land. Completely changes the game. Not to mention that the transport ships also seem to take more damage. Like, they don't die that quickly. So yeah, look out for that. Thank you, Father Trace. Uh, guys, if you don't remember, Father Trace was the one who... He put up $5,000 for Hidden Cup 3, so appreciate it. Oh, hello. And here comes Luis with the scout! Did he really... He just has a scout! Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa! He's chopping wood over here! Oh my god! Okay, so he's just bringing the scout over to his people... I didn't realize he had a dock and a fishing ships over here. That's kind of out of place. Okay, barracks for Knox. Whoop! I guess you can sail over building foundations as well. Yeah, I mean, imagine how unsafe your kings are going to be if transport ships can sail like this. Hmm. Hunva, hello. He says, uh, payday for me, subs for you. Thanks for the five gifted. Hello. <laughs> Oh, I think we'll see a lot of petard plays. I think we'll see a crazy amount of petards. I think we'll see... I, I hope we see, anyways, a lot of aggression here. Because I don't think defense is the way to play it. When I played, I had four villagers and was still able to win the game just by going all out with snipes. Now, obviously, you're going to need some eco. But... Like, even navy's a lot weaker. Because the transports can just sail onto the land. So you come in to snipe a king, it's in a transport, and then the king just goes here. And then what are you going to do? Smash Cantos, yeah, no worries. Happy to do that. Smash Cantos, I have to say, like, I raid a lot of people. So, um, you know, I stream, I send all my viewers to someone who's normally not playing for a lot of viewers. Normally it's someone who's not expecting to have any viewers. And, uh... Your, your reaction to my raid actually brought me close to tears, man. I'm not going to lie. Like, you were so happy, uh, and you were, like, talking about how you probably wouldn't have gotten into Age of Empires if it wasn't for me, and I got really feelsy. So, uh, glad. I hope you enjoyed the raid, and you're welcome. My absolute pleasure. Glad I could get you into the game.
Hmm. So, uh, you know what's interesting to me is how Nox is building military in the middle. Whereas, like, Yoda Evil Twin seems to be going for Eco. He's actually building a second TC on this tiny little island. But yeah, here he comes with- He actually has a goat in there! That's hilarious. He is Tatars. Alright, there he goes. Wee! There he goes. Um, I would say buying 50 stone or collecting 50 stone would be good if he wants a new town center. He actually has three TCs here. That's... I wouldn't recommend doing that because you're not going to find many resources here long term. But uh, here he is. I don't know what his plans are with these three, but he is there. Uh, wow. Nox is, is about to lose an archer to a wolf. Okay, that was really close. Seeing a lot of aggression. No, don't, don't attack Luis. Not my... Don't attack Teal. Oh, no. Oh, no. Teal. He's being... He doesn't have Loom. He actually made a galley. So maybe maybe he started it. I don't know. They made a lot of galleys. Or, no, Nox made galleys, too. Yeah, Luis is my getting picked on. you to know. When you say fishing ships, it sounds like fish and chips. <laughs> Cheers. Your wife wants me to know that? Really? <laughs> Your wife wants me to... Okay, well, listen. I... I have got that comment a lot. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm not saying fish and chips. I'm saying fishing ships. I will enunciate more in the future. Did that tower get bigger? I feel like that tower got bigger. Also, very interesting how Red transported over here to make another dock for more fish. For more fish and chips. Alright, so Teal just built a new lumber camp so we could stay safe over here. Trying to keep you updated on all the early aggression. Nox is... See, the problem for Nox is... He's done well with the fights he's taking. But if you compare his eco, he's at 46 villagers to some of the others who were just booming. He's not going to be near as well off. Also, I feel like you make some enemies if you play this way. But every good game needs a villain. I hear we have snake bites. See how snake bites building his town centers in the middle? I think that's the way to do it. Instead of building so many town centers in your starting islands. I don't see anything crazy from people. I, I don't see any sign that they're going to go for early snipes. I just see a lot of economy. Uh, there's a transport ship in the trees. <laughs> um, yeah, believe it or not, there's not a ton of space out here, so you have to be pretty, pretty uh, careful. I think now, like, if you have, if you have it in you to start having communi like communication, conversation with people, this would be the time. Um, when I play, I think it's because I'm a streamer. I just expect to be killed regardless, so I don't really talk to people in game. That is, but uh, this is where like maybe red and purple are talking and saying, "Hey, like let's control this side together." This is where the diplomacy should begin. Smash Cantos. I did not. No, I did not see it. No, no worries. Hmm. Fast Imp from Yellow. Is that what somebody said? Well, he's an Imp? Oh my god, he went Fast Imp into Fatorias. I didn't realize he was in the Imperial Age. Wow, stonks, man. He went right up. Let's go. Okay, so this is... Okay, this is a strategy I understand. I can either love it or hate it. If it gets to the point in the game where he has been sitting on four or five Fatorias, everyone else is out of trade and eco, he should be favored. Because he's going to have a continuous trickle of resources just because of building this building. However, it's quite slow... And it takes time to kick in. So, I, I actually, I, that's a really impressive imp time. Uh, probably, I didn't even have a big fish boom either. That's what's crazy. But yeah, impressive. But we'll see what he's able to do with it. Okay. BB, if Vittoria only Portuguese can build, it's 250 stone and 250 gold. And it gives you a trickle of rest. So, it gives you uh, food, wood, all, all the resources. I think the biggest one that you gain from this, because it's not that strong, and it takes up 20 population space, I would say is probably stone. It's like gold you can get through trade, wood, food, that shouldn't be an issue until really long term. But stone, that will slowly climb and that can become a real, real pain to deal with. 
Don't see any snipes, guys, but poor Luis. I... I don't want to be rude to Nox. Like, maybe Luis was saying all these bad things to Teal. But as far as I can see, Nox is being a big old bully. And I feel bad. <laughs> I, I feel bad. Especially because Luis is like, well, I'll try to play. I'll try to play. Like, this is why. What did he ever do to you, man? Hmm. I feel bad for the guy. He's going to make a transport ship. And maybe he'll make a run for it. But he seems to be having a real rough time now. And Nox is just picking on him. But, like, Nox... Can we all agree, whether you love how Nox is playing right now or hate it, every good community game needs this. It needs to start off this way. It needs to have somebody... Oh, two people! Wait, hold on. Red might actually be protecting him. Red is... Neutral to... Uh-oh, wait a second. Does Luis not know? Oh, that's why. Luis doesn't know. He doesn't know you can ally people. Oh, God, he's so finished then. It's not like you can't even blame the others then. It's because Luis won't ally them. Mainly because he doesn't know. Oh, where's his king? His king is in the tower. It's diplomacy. You need to use teamwork. Might as well be named Scotty. Because he doesn't know. Okay, he's going to make a run for it. Here. He's going to make a run for it. He's got to make a move. There he goes. The dodging, the dipping, the weaving. The the king is in the transport ship. There he goes. Be free. Okay, so this is this is just giving us this is giving us an idea of what is possible with king escapes and also king snipes. We will see that. So we have two players who are basically going for the campiest possible. Uh oh. Oh, you're kidding me. Can't snipe his king when he's inside your castle. I think the transport's so fast that it's really tough for uh, for buildings or ranged units to hit it. Okay, he just sailed right by Purple's castle. And he's going over here where he's building a new TC. Oh, oh, oh no, Luis. <laughs> I love this guy. It's so cute. He's in big trouble. Okay, let's let's make this interesting, chat. I will gift five subs to the stream if Luis snipes a king. Is anyone else gonna gonna get in on this? I if he snipes, actually, I should give more. Twenty five. Five is five is nothing. Twenty five. If he snipes one king. Actually, that's even too much. Like that's even. Hmm. Never mind. That that like I I went into that thinking like this is gonna be a huge risk. <laughs> But the guy, the guy is, no, that, that's bad. Let me think of something else. Maybe it should be like a survival challenge. No, no, no. I, listen, I, I want to gift subs and all that, but I've gifted 1800 subs to my own channel. So I've got to, oh, Garrison. I've got to chill a little bit with the number. I don't want to go any, any higher than that. Um, all right, I'll think it over. Right now he is known on food. He might just be dead. Maybe we should have made bets a long time ago. Oh! <gasps> Pitards! Nice! So, again, you could put them in transport ships. You could put them in transport ships, and you could just go right over to the enemy island. Now, we have 60 population space in Vittorio's for Argent. He's just going to try and soak up the resources and hope no one attacks him. Teal is hiding in the north. I, I don't know if he's talking to people or what, but like some people even allied him. But it makes sense in the Diplo game that people wouldn't trust a guy who doesn't ally him. Especially for red and purple. Like, it makes a whole lot of sense for them to work together on this side. They're doing pretty well so far. Alright, so Harry will likely go for Vitards. I don't see anything else crazy being planned. We'll see a lot of castles and, and um, just eco-protection in the middle where there's farms and gold and stone. Alright, Father Trace, that, that's actually a nice idea. I'll do that. 
Father Father Trey said he'll gift five subs for every king that dies before Teal. <laughs> Which means that Teal just has to stay alive. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that. I think that's reasonable. It's very unlikely that he will stay alive for very long anyways. Hey, T90, found you through YouTube and I love your content. Can anyone participate in community games? Would love to do it. Anyone. Anyone. And you have a sub batch, so you actually get four times the entries too. I can explain it before the next game. Welcome. Truffle Pig, thank you for 17 months. He says, I'm new. He's just passing. I'm also new and just passing, by the way, chat. This is, uh, this is T91, unofficial. His replacement. Kem, thank you. He says, love the comedy games. Keep it going. I will, man. Thank you for being here for so long. Didn't you cast Pineapple the Fruit Dude in Low E the Legends? You know what I did? I was wondering where this name came from. I did cast this guy in Low Elo Legends. I just assumed it was community games. Yeah, Pineapple the Fruit Dude was... I remember he won, and it wasn't very close. He was yellow, too. been watching your YouTube like crazy for a couple of weeks. Finally had the chance to drop by your stream and donate. You're awesome. Thanks for Calais. Man, so many new people. This is awesome, man. There's people on the stream right now who are like, I remember when I was new, and now I'm old. Sorry, I mean not old. You are, um, matured. Not old. Nobody's old. We're all young, with bright futures ahead of us. Alright, well your name was Butt of the Tox. You didn't really stand a shot anyway. <laughs> I'm kidding, dude. I'm kidding, Butt of the Tox. Okay, so Gray's doing a little bit of everything. Um, he's making some trade cogs. Wow, he has a lot of transports in there. Remember, transports can go over land. All right, we see some some towers now. Lots of eco, lots of eco, lots of eco. Okay, chat, this is a great time for a story because this is right before the fights begin. Actually, this might be an awful... That, that might mean it's an awful time for a story. But I'm going to try... I want you to tell me if I screwed up, okay? You guys need to give me some relationship advice. So, the other night, <clears throat> um, you know, we were Lorraine and I were settling down, right? And we're both on our phones. And she's going through Reddit. Now, I subscribe to, like, a bunch of different subreddits. She, it's all, like, animals. So it's like, oh, look, it's a whale. Oh, look, it's a kitten. Oh, look, it's a cat. Oh, look, it's a dog. Oh, look, it's a pig. Like, animals, right? And that's cool. You know, I respect it. She, she's sweet. So, anyways, um, she's like, oh, babe, look at this. And she shows me this gif where there's, like, this old golden retriever. You can tell it's an old guy. He's lived a long life. And then the family brings in a baby golden retriever. And they start playing together. And she's like, and we're like, oh, that's really cute. And so she immediately says, in a cute tone, oh, yeah, then when the old one dies, they'll have to get a new one for the the new puppy it's that time of the month again. just like it was nothing there's this cute older dog and she's like yeah when that one dies they'll get a new one i'm like what i'm like that's so mean all right it's now granted she didn't mean it in a mean way but i'm a troll right now tell me if i screwed up okay necessary information before i continue this story she has a cat <laughs> who she loves so I felt like it would be a comparison just to show that it was a little bit insensitive to say what she said about that dog, to say, what if your cat were to die, we just get a new one, you know? And, and she got a little bit upset about that. Like she was, she like just taking her mind to that space made her a bit sad. And I want to know, did I screw up? Did I screw up, or was that just reasonable thing? Was that just too logical? I did. We're over now? Oh. Okay. Can you understand where I'm coming from? I was like, <gasps> That's a cute doggo! Uh, you know, I think it's one of those things where the logic, what I said was sound, but I still should have shut up, you know? I, I think I still, yeah. It's alright, we're over it. I told, I told her I was going to tell the, the stream this story today. She was like, you always make me sound so basic. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. 
I would never make you sound basic, Lorena. That's the only voice I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh! No, Luis! Luis is dead. Oh, he resigned. Oh, it's so sad. F's in the chat for Luis. I feel so bad for him. Luis. Hearts for you. Oh, my God. Yoda's evil twin has flaming camels inside of a transport ship. Inside of a transport ship. I didn't even think about that troll strategy. The guy is making flaming camels. He's putting them on a ship, which can somehow sail over land and water. If he snipes a king with flaming camels, it will all have been worth it. Luis's sacrifice would have been worth it. I, however, flaming camels are not petards. They are awful against buildings. They're pretty much... Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Yo! Get it! He just get... What? Oh, he misclicked it! He misclicked it! He misclicked it into his own transport ship! No! No! That is one of the most epic fails I have ever seen. Whoa. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Like, I could see why he may have made that mistake because his transport ship was right next to the king. He went to right click the king, but he clicked the transport. No. Oh, Yoda's evil twin. He's going to make more of them. I, I can guarantee you he's thinking, please don't be looking at that T90. Please don't be looking at that T90. Please don't be looking at that. Okay, so guys, we're going to have to keep a close eye on things because the uh, like transports can sail over the walls. They can sail over the land. They can go everywhere. So it's like really, really going to be tough for me to know where to look. And, and when the snipes are coming in, and right here, I knew a moment ago, oh my goodness. Oh! <laughs> Oh, poor Argent. <laughs> That's actually funny. <laughs> I knew that Harry T had something, and, and finally I found them. Harry T just sailed right over here with conquistadors and petards, and he's like, pack it up, boys. Got them. Let's go. And uh, I, I think this might have a lot to do with the fact that Argent... Well, he's actually enemied with, to quite a few people, but I think that Argent's strategy is too predictable. And it's too strong. Like if you let the Portuguese player sit there with Vitorias for too long, then it's they just win. So that might have been why we saw what we saw there. Uh, Reach Heaven through Violence is now making a move against Snakebite, and I, I believe Snakebite had Cav Archers and military here. And I don't know if he's about to fight Purple or what. But Snakebite's king is inside the tower, and that is a lot of navy from Reach Heaven through. Through violence. Like, that's a ridiculous amount of navy, and I don't even see any docks that are close by for Green to send a transport over with. Wait a second, Green is at Red's base! I think Harry T just dropped, and Red is dead! What a way to save yourself! Oh my god! No! What the- Green! You're alive! Oh, this is- this is too good, man. This is too good. Red doesn't even know. Well, he's dead. He can't do anything about it. And Green almost lost his king. That king was just having a conversation with the captain of that cannon galleon. And now maybe he'll actually be alive, but not before Arn shows up with flaming camels! Oh! He failed before. He wants to save his reputation. He has surrounded the king with flaming camels. He has to turn on him first. He forgot about it. It's alright. One moment. Please enjoy this music while your party is reached. <laughs> Boom! Wow! What? Did he... I guess he deleted them? And it did... Okay, there we go. Flawless execution. Yes. Round of applause in chat. Salutes. Flawless execution from Yoda Evil Twin. You can tell he's been practicing that for years. Well done. 
Uh, we'll talk to him more about that after the game. So we have Yoda Evil Twin. We have Pineapple Fruit Toot and Nox. Are you serious? That's all we have left? That's actually, that's amazing. I'm impressed. Now, Harry dropped. Uh, that That's, like, Harry was going to be the strongest player in the game. So it feels bad for him. Thanks to E. But uh, l let's just get an update on the situation here. Okay, so Gray is actually getting ready. He has Petards, he has Rams, and he has Mangadai. Um, his king is inside of his town center, if you're wondering. And then Nox is inside his town center. So again, I don't know if Navy does much. If they could just, just transport around you. And then, who's he? Oh, Yoda, of course. And Yoda's score is really low. I don't know why. Maybe because Yoda's only teched into Flaming Camel and nothing else? It's probably that. It probably doesn't have a lot of researches. Um, and his king is inside this castle here. Hmm. Nox has just changed him to enemy. And Nox wants to push the middle area. Okay, so just put the Flaming Camels inside the transport ship. Oh! Yeah, I don't think they're very good against Arbs. Send forth the Flaming Camels! Thank you, Arkale, for the for the dono, by the way. Uh, if you do know, donate. Actually, I should just replay that so we can see the flaming camels. Here, hold on, I got it. Perfect time. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna take so many. Do they not? Are they not automatically on attack stance? What's the deal here? What's what's the deal? I mean, he's doing it. All right. These camels don't they don't really seem excited about the whole exploding into bits and pieces thing. I can understand that. I I can understand it cuz I wouldn't be too excited about that either. However, that is your job. Oh boy. Oh oh my goodness. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. I don't even know where his king is. Where is Purple's king? Oh, oh no, Orange is King, I meant to say, and Orange is dead already. Okay, it, it's it's gone. There's no defeated noise. So, I mean, props to Yoda Evil Twin for this strategy, but that was a sick double team from Pineapple the Fruit Dude and Nox, and now they're the only two left. So now they've got to fight each other, and I think that's exactly what's going down. Purple's going to pack it up with his transports. Uh, now, I, you, you look at the transports, they're not taking damage. With this mod, I, I, I can't understand why they take damage sometimes and why they don't others. Like, that that's insane that that transport ship is still alive. So just sail on over to the other base and try and get a snipe. That's what both should do. Purple completely forgot about this army, so he lost everything to that castle. We'll see what happens shortly. Man. Cactus says, how do I cancel this? Hey, thank you for the three months, I guess. Uh, Gandalf says, it's that time of the month again. Have this Prime sub. I thought you were talking about something else. I was about to say, I can't give you any advice on that. But thank you for the four months. Mr. Neely and Wailing Spider, thank you for the support, guys. And this has been a really good game. Like, a really fast game, but a really good game. There's been a lot of clippable moments here. Can Purple make it to Gray's base? Oh, the other thing about this is the, uh, the transport stack on top of each other, so it's hard to know how many you have. Purple has two here, and they're filled with petards. Okay, here he goes. Now, he does have navy to accompany this. Gray does not have any navy, but Gray could just send his king inside the transport ship and get a move on to the middle area. Um, it does seem like Pineapple's struggling to get pop-up. I just heard treason, so purple just researched treason to see where the king might be. And Gray, Gray's well aware of this. Now what's funny is, when I casted Pineapple the Fruit Dude in Low Elo Legends, I'm fairly certain he forgot to get Parthian Tactics and Thumbring. I think he might have forgotten so here as well. <laughs> so not a lot of changes. Okay, see the petards are there, and the petards take out the TC, however the king is still alive. Uh, purple takes out the tower now. At least he's taking out another building the king could hide in, but the king's still there. Remember, king update, purple's over here. 
He's still making petards too, and he does have arbs, so I think he should send arbs this time. Yeah, yeah, send the arb less and transport chips and just get it over there as fast as possible. Trust me when I say it's really complicated to play this. It's really messy. Um, what a, what a funny game, though. It's obviously a shame that Harry T dropped. So I think what would happen is Nox and Pineapple would have had to work against Harry T now. But uh, everything else in this game has been really good. Hmm. Well, the micro from Nox, I, I think this comes back to everything he's trying to do at once. Not so good. He did just research treason. So he knows now or should know that the king for gray is still there and he's losing a lot of his arbalest. I, I think he just got he just got caught up with production from his docks and everything else. So he's just got to take a breather here. I think, at least based on what I've heard from people who play in community games, there's probably a lot of stress when you get down to this level. Like, oh my god, I'm actually going to win. I can't wait to tell my mom that I won. And all my, my thousands of hours playing video games is worth it now. You know, like, those types of things are probably going through their minds. And so it's it's very complicated to to keep an eye on everything, especially when the game can be so messy. Jorp says community games are the most stressful gaming experience I've ever had in 20 years. What? Oh my! I totally saw that. <clears throat> I totally saw that. Jorp, that's your fault. I just wanted to interact with my community. Jorp, you are making me look bad. Gray just sailed right across. Long live King Luis. So, you know, as I as I saw the whole way through, a uh, pineapple the fruit dude, he just took the initiative. He hopped inside the transport ships and bada bang bada boom. I got the win. Man, what a funny game. I feel bad about Luis. I'm still crying about that. But Yoda Evil Twin, I think his moments oh, in this shit. game gave us the best highlights. That that mistake at Yellow's base was hilarious. Fortunately for him, he did get a King Snipe. Third time was the charm when he made it over to Green's base. What are your thoughts on the mod, guys? What are your thoughts on the mod? I I think that we should try and find a map where there's one tiny little pond, right? So we don't have navy, but you can just make transports. I, I don't know what map, like, the only map that comes to mind is something like, uh, is something like Black Forest, actually. <laughs> Which, funny enough, would be kind of sick, because you can just sail through the trees. Someone said Oasis. No, because Oasis, you have to cut to the middle. Like, I just want a tiny little pond so you can make a dock and a transport, and that's it. Yeah, it's true. On Black Forest, the pond generation isn't consistent. Maybe... I, I, I refuse to do Alpine Lakes. I refuse to do it. Yeah, maybe like something like Sea Notes. Yeah. I don't know. What, whatever map we could find, um, I think doing this game mode on a non-water map, just ponds, would be great. I think most of chat is in agreement with that. That was a great game. I don't know what that's going to be titled for YouTube, but that will probably be on YouTube in the future. And just props to players for going for it. Feels bad for Harry. Harry did a great job like trying to help us get it so we can actually start the game, so thanks for that. I feel bad that you dropped from it, but man, there's, we had exploding camels, or flaming camels, excuse me. We had multiple snipe attempts. We had some bullying going on. Poor Luis. Luis, if you're listening, you just got to make sure that you ally people with this screen here, because you had everyone set as enemy. They did not like that. Okay. Um, well, there's the KD for you. Nox with more kills. I think Nox just needed to send... Like, imagine if he sent Arbalest with his transport. Or, uh, um, um, Arbalest with his petards and that one transport. He would have killed Grey. He just didn't have anything to back it up to snipe the king. That is easily the fastest migration game I've ever cast. Also, we got some good life advice. Turns out I might have screwed up a little bit. Lorena might have been listening to that story. Nope. Don't think so. <laughs> GG. Uh, if you see this on YouTube in the future, YouTube, we do community games every Friday. Uh, time tends to start around uh, noon Eastern, and that's 17 GMT, 16 GMT, somewhere around there. And I go for 8 to 10 hours. With Daniel and Vivi together and do them on Discord. But either way, I appreciate you guys watching, whether it's on YouTube or on Twitch. 
Uh, yeah, you guys are correct. Luis's king was still alive, but I don't think I'll be giving out gifted subs because he tapped out before pop. GG.